Hey David, we have an owner at our board meetings who is a hothead and very disruptive. They want to keep attending the meetings even though we have so much trouble with them. Can they do that? Association meetings. Everything you need to know about dealing with owners who may be problematic. Let's talk about board meetings. If you have a board meeting, owners, of course, have the right to attend. Even if they're an owner that you don't like or an owner that can sometimes cause trouble at a board meeting, they have the right to attend. Now, that does not mean they have free reign to take over your board meeting. We know they have the right to attend under the law. What else do we know? She have an agenda and those owners have the right to comment on agenda items, but agenda items only. If you have a general uh, agenda item, then of course, owners do have the right to speak. So you might ask the question, what are some best practices when you have an owner who is trying to take over a board meeting? I've had a lot of situations where there have been owners who are extremely disruptive, even to the point where they are threatening board members. You need to have a strong chair, which is typically the president of the board, to keep control of your board meeting. If anybody's out of line, make sure you have that gavel ready to go to try to curtail their behavior. What else can you do? Disruptive owners typically behave themselves when there is an off-duty police officer or security guard present at the board meeting. Now, I know it may sound a little bit ridiculous to have a security guard attend your board meeting, but if you have a truly disruptive owner, you might need to do it. Call your local police department. Sometimes you can get an off-duty police officer to attend. That can be uh, helpful.